just being absolutely present, like 100% present in the moment. You're doing something that can feel so aggressive, you know, you're spearing fish, but in order to be good at it, you really have to, I mean, almost bring yourself to this zen-like state of mind. But land hunting is something completely new to me. One hundred percent brand new to elk hunting. Not much more experience when it comes to archery in general. The commitment you give it that's going to make yourself a bow hunter or not. It's like a dinosaur. Almost like. I'm stepping into a different chapter. I know that this is something I want to dedicate more time to. I'm excited to do that. Always remember, if you don't feel comfortable with the shot, don't take it. Damn. I've definitely dabbled in spearfishing as a sport. In 2008, I became the national champion of freediving spearfishing. But soon after that, I just realized that that wasn't it for me. I mean, I will always be grateful for those days of competition and they were some of the best days and best accomplishments of my life. But um, the more that I really thought about what spearfishing meant to me. It's my roots. It's something that my dad did. And it is, it's my connection to nature and it's my access to food. And so when I stopped competing, I really just poured myself into the food part of it, into, into cooking, into trying to just learn all the different ways to harvest, you know, this beautiful piece of nature and keep those stories in my mind. It's something I never knew existed. Like I honestly never knew that there could ever be that many elk together in one place. So this is pretty mind-blowing. It's just been a whole day of just mind-blowing first experiences. And I want it to keep happening. <laughs> and I want to definitely hope to get an opportunity, but just learning this whole new species, this whole new ecosystem, and being able to observe I'm at the edge of my seat, like, every second. You just gotta get out there in nature. And again, the same thing that spearfishing taught me, be 100% present with your environment. I definitely saw something moving yeah. in the trees right in front of us. Step out. It's just, it's, it's just breathtaking. Um, there definitely is nothing else like it.
just curious. It's like highs and lows, just up and down, up and down when it comes to the emotions. Sometimes it just feels like this, this absolute <laughs> torture, but in a good way. That's gotta be what just keeps us coming back. Harvest would be nice, but the hunt is what I'm here for. In my whole journey through spearfishing, a lot of times it just felt like hunting is on one side and conservation's on the other side, at least when it came to, to spearfishing, you know? Like, it was spearfishers here and the conservationists there, and, um, and that was just something I never, ever agreed with because that's not how I was raised, you know? I was raised in a way where you take care of what takes care of you. And I think that's what I appreciate the most about the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. They truly take care of this species. I love that. but I'll just never forget like that moment of feeling like it's gonna happen. It's actually gonna happen. It didn't happen. More than just the harvest, it's the pursuit that I find so invigorating. But, um, but that feeling, <laughs> oh, I need it again. <laughs>